next is Autolite, world's largest independent manufacturer of automotive electrical equipment. Autolite makes over 400 products for cars, trucks, tractors, airplanes, and boats in 28 plants from coast to coast. Autolite makes a complete line of original factory parts for Autolite equipped cars, including windshield wipers, wire and cable, distributors, coils, and ignition engineers, standard and resistor type spark plugs. Autolite also makes starting motor armatures, starting motors, generators, voltage regulators, and all types of batteries, including the famous Autolite Stay Full battery. Autolite serves the greatest names in the industry. So from bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And now, Autolite and its 98,000 dealers everywhere present Suspense. I think Monsieur Mergot is at the Café Marguet. I, I think he is very fond of Prix Palamo de Caen. Thank you. by you. Hmm? I'm Swiss by birth. She kept me with her not as a servant, but as one of the family. I call her Aunt Josephine. A week ago, she came from Bayeux to visit her nephew. Oh, yes. Didn't I just read here that she died here yesterday of uh, a heart attack? Yes. Aunt Josephine died yesterday in her nephew's house. But she was murdered. Are you sure she was murdered? I swear it. You were there? No. Someone told you? She told me. I beg your pardon. Your aunt told you that she'd been murdered? Yes. You see, time and again, my aunt tell me that if something should happen to her in her nephew's house, I should go immediately to the police. Mm. Uh, what's his name? Philippe de Lijard. Hmm? Well, she came here to see her, her dentist. Lijard. By the way, what is the nephew's profession? None. Once he has his wife fortune, but he ran through that. Now he's desperate. So he killed her. Well, what was your aunt worth? Four or five million. Mm. Five million. Had she made a will? Yes. 
Half of her fortune she will to her nephew. And the other half? To me. Oh. Would you uh, join me in some fruit, perhaps an apple, a pear, some grapes? Grapes. go to the local prosecutor, that's the normal procedure. I did. You won't lift a finger. Mm -hmm. You know the family is such an old family. Mm -hmm. But you haven't a shred of evidence. Fear is evidence, isn't it? It is to me because I live in fear. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm next. Our fortune is not enough for him. Now, do you see why you must investigate? Yes, but I have no means of access. I have no excuse to go to the place. I am the excuse. My life is... No, I, I'm sorry. Inspector McRae? Yes? Monsieur Delijard would like you to come at once. Yes, aren't you? You must go quickly. Go in the back way. The cook. I think the cook knows everything. <laughs> Croisier died? Yesterday, about five, sir. Was she alone? Alone. The attack took place in her bedroom, the Louis XIV room on the second floor. We call it the blue room. One moment, sir. I'll tell Monsieur Delejard. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, my dear uh, Inspector Maigret. Madame? I sent for you because that young woman, a mere servant girl really, has been spreading the most malicious stories about me. Uh, tell me, Monsieur Delijard, were you at home when Madame uh, Croisier died? No, no, I always spend my afternoons at my club. <laughs> Madame, uh, you summoned the doctor, of course. Was it the family doctor? No, he lived too far away. We called a new doctor in the neighborhood, Dr. Leavan. Uh, shall we go into the morning room? He lives just round the corner. Uh, Dr. Diavan, that is. Mm -hmm. And, uh, the servants? The chauffeur and the maid had the day off. The butler was on duty here. The cook, I suppose, was in the kitchen. Of course, if you care to verify... Uh, if you'll excuse us, my dear. This way, Inspector. Madame. No, thank you. When we invited my aunt to spend her month here, we suggested that she bring her companion. The house is large enough, and we offered for her companion a small suite formerly occupied by my old nurse. Oh, she doesn't live here anymore. No, no. I settled her in a small cottage on the edge of town. But in any case, my aunt flatly refused the offer. She told us that she was looking for a way to get rid of her companion. Yes, but... Uh the girl told me that your aunt had willed her half her fortune. Precisely, but my aunt admitted that she had made a mistake in including the girl in her will. Oh? She told us that only last week she had discovered that for two years, under her own roof, 
her chaste companion had been receiving secret visits from a young man almost every night. Cecile had a lover? No. No, she was secretly married. Oh. Did your aunt uh, change her will? She was going to, but uh, she died. Are you suggesting that uh, Cecile might have killed uh, your aunt? Oh, there's no question of murder, Inspector. Oh, oh dear, no. My aunt died of uh, heart failure. The doctor said so, and the medical inspector has confirmed it. Well, I can see that there is really nothing here but malice and uh, gossip. Yes, but I want the gossip stopped. After all, Inspector, a man in my Madame. position, you know. Madame! Madame! Madame, come quickly! Monsieur, Monsieur Delizard. Oui. I was blowing out the old candle just now, and I saw the cook behind the coffin dead. Ah. This is the sort of case I like best. A dignified facade, decorous characters, every indication of virtue exaggerated to the point of thought. This is my favorite type of case it is up to me to tear down the problem facade, to sniff around in the ruins and nose out at last the human beast, the most unforgivable of evils, the killer for profit. Good evening. This is Rex Marshall for Autolite. We'll get back to our suspense story in just a moment. While we're taking this little intermission, I'd like to tell you a small story myself, and if I may. It's about a young fellow named Randolph the Reporter. And as it all begins, we find Randolph waiting for his first big news story to break. Ah, there it goes. Yes, the biggest blaze in years. So Randolph races to his car to take off for a sensational scoop. But, uh-oh, nothing new about this story. Yeah, his battery's gone dead, and it looks like Randolph's car and his career will never get started. Well, you see, Randolph knew a lot about reporting, but apparently no one had ever told him that extreme loss of water is one of the major causes of battery failure. So, of course, what he should have had is the famous Autolite Stay Full battery, the famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. I tell you what, if you'll take a look at this, I'll show you what I mean. In the ordinary battery, small particles keep flaking off the positive plates. So the ordinary battery has to have a large space in the bottom of the case to hold those particles. Otherwise, they'll get together and short circuit the plates, and the battery's dead. But there's a big difference in the new Autolite Stay Full battery. Every positive plate has a fiberglass retaining mat protecting it, holding the active materials in place to reduce that flaking. Yep, there's the fiberglass the feature that gives such real advantages to the Autolite Stay Full battery. Now, while the ordinary battery requires this much extra space below the plates, the Autolite Stay Full doesn't need all that extra space, so we use it to advantage by putting it up above. Well, now, with both batteries filled to capacity, you can see the solution in the ordinary battery barely covers those all-important plates. But in the Autolite Stay Full, there's over three times as much liquid reserve for over three times the protection. Well now, as water evaporates in the ordinary battery, parts of the plates are left exposed and partially inactive. But when the same amount of water evaporates from the Autolite Stay Full, the plates are still fully protected and active. And that's why your Autolite Stay Full battery needs water only three times a year in normal car use. And it's important to remember that the Autolite Stay Full gives longer life in tests conducted according to accepted life cycle standards. Believe me, your money just can't buy a better battery. Why don't you pay a visit to your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer? He services all makes of batteries, and if a replacement is needed, he'll have an Autolite stay full for your car. It's very easy to find out where he is. Simply pick up the telephone, call Western Union by number, and ask for operator 25, please. That's right. Call me, and I'll gladly tell you the name of your nearest Autolite battery dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. And 
now the second act of The Old Lady of Bayou, starring Nicole Stefan. Dr. Levi, you must forgive me for breaking in on you at this hour, but I am convinced that I have come across a most fiendishly clever murder, and yet you and the medical inspector assure me that uh, Madame Croisier died of a heart attack. She did, absolutely. Had you been called on previous occasions to the Denis No. I am only beginning here. I, I was delighted to be called. But, uh, about what time were you called? Uh, five? Five. I remember I have, uh, I have a little nurse who leaves here at five o'clock. She had just put on a hat and I was in the very act of kissing her when uh, the phone rang. After you got to the house, exactly what happened? Uh, I went up to the bedroom. Oh, yes, the one on the left, uh, the blue room, all covered with damage. No, 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 on the right. The yellow room. Yellow wallpaper with uh, circles on it. Where was the body? On the bed. Any marks of violence? Uh, none. But she was in an extremely uh, weak condition. This must have been her uh, tenth heart attack. Would you get that for me, please? Uh, yeah. uh, just one more question, if you don't mind, Doctor. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Um, could you determine the approximate hour of death? I would say place the time of the death at uh, uh, 4.15. Four. Hmm. But I know that she went to the dentist at 4. I know that she wasn't back until 5, and yet you tell me that she died at 4.15. Believe me, I was there at 5.10. If the old lady had died at 5 o'clock, wouldn't I know it? I can assure you that she died within a minute or two of 4.15. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. No, I won't leave you. But you were there when the cook was killed. They think you did it. Madame. Madame, it was not nice of you not to mention your young man to me. By the way, how did you happen to be at the Delijar house when the cook was strangled? Were you afraid she'd tell me something? Is that why you strangled her? Nonsense, I didn't strangle her. He's been there because I asked him. I knew the cook had a secret. That's the truth. But I came too late. Mm -hmm. I was right. He was there. Yes, I've been to the undertakers. Well, they did not see the body when they delivered the coffin. They didn't see the body. Wait for me right there. It's a very charming canal. Please, Inspector. Why are you trying to implicate my husband and me? Tell me. Yes. Where did you first see the body? Upstairs. Where? In the blue room. The blue room or the yellow the room? The blue room. Then how do you account for the fact that when the doctor examined the body, it was in the yellow room? What? Now, when you saw the body, was it in the coffin? Yes. The coffin was closed? Open. Then you saw the face. You recognized it? Yes. No. Are you certain, are you certain that it was Madame Croisier who was in that coffin? Positive. Hmm. Uh, get me a copy of yesterday's newspaper. I want the death notice. The main entrance to the Delijar house is on the Rue des Reservoirs. There's also a service entrance on that street. Now, isn't there a back way out of the place? The canal. Mm, the canal. The house backs onto the canal. I, I think there's an entrance right to the water. You think there is or you know there is? I know there is. In fact, that's the way you got in when you went to strangle the cook with this. No, I didn't. He didn't. He could not. 
Well, why, how do you know? Just because you're in love with him? Yes, because I am in love with him. I know. Darling, don't be worried. We know we hung guilty. If we could only get into the house. Maybe, maybe there's a wound. And now, arrest this young man for the murder of the cook. As for the death of Madame Croisier, you will both be held informally, of course, until I did another little errand. Follow me, you. You come along too, miss. Run, darling, run now! Take a look at the body! Never sleep. I wish you'd stop going around with that scarf. You'd... Give it to me. Let me have it. <laughs> oh, why did the cook have to find? <laughs> if she hadn't seen it, if she hadn't heard it, tell him. <laughs> Mary, 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 go back to bed, please. You, you, please, Mary, you disturb me. like this. Monsieur de Lijard, in all your wasted, greedy life, there was one good thing about you. You loved your nurse. Nurse? What nurse? The many years had passed and you had grown up and your nurse had gone away. Always when you went to your club, you dropped 
by the column. That's right. He did. He did. She lived all alone in a country lane, and his visits made her very happy. Right up until the day that she died of a heart attack. You've been drinking. I'm inviting you to your nurse's funeral. She had a very weak heart, and she died of a heart attack yesterday afternoon at precisely 4.15. Just what you'd been waiting for to perfect this perfect crime. Impossible. How could I get her here? By canal in your launch with the curtains. You dragged the body up to the yellow room. When your aunt came home at five, she went up to her room, the blue room, where she was killed. A strange doctor was brought into the house, taken to the yellow room where he examined the nurse's body. After he left, the body was removed. The nurse saw all this. Unfortunately for her, she was an honest soul. Madame, may I take that scarf? Yes. Please take it. Please do. roughly to you, but I had to test you. Now, if you'll come with me, we'll go free your young man. Thank you. So we come to the end of another story of suspense brought to you by Autolite. In just a moment, I'll tell you the title of our story for next week. But before I do, I'd like to remind you drivers that the Autolite Stay Full is the famous battery that needs water only three times a year in normal car use. Why don't you pay a visit to your Autolite battery dealer? He services all makes of batteries, and if a replacement is needed, he'll have an Autolite Stay Full for your car. Very simple to find out where your nearest Autolite battery dealer is located. Simply pick up the telephone, call Western Union by number, and when you get them, ask for Operator 25, please. I'm Operator 25. Call me and I'll gladly tell you the name of your nearest Autolite battery dealer. That's Western Union, Operator 25. And remember... From bumper to tail light, you're always right with Autolite. A cop. Another story well calculated to keep you in suspense. Exciting the Hunter on the CBS Television Network. <laughs>